Good day everyone. My name is Jan Andre Di Guzman. a student of ABS AMT for Beef. And this is my subject supersonic aerodynamics. And and for today's topic, I will be discussing on how to solve a lower surface using high order approximation on supersonic aerodynamics. As you can see, we have given a problem here and I will be discussing you this. Our problem is a, a two-dimensional thin flat plate is put against a stream at 5,881.9 meters height at 1,236.36 meters per second at an angle of 23 degrees in a wind tunnel that employs helium as a working fluid. Determine the plate's coefficient at the lower surface using high order approximation. Our given for this formula is first the height of 5881.9 meters times the velocity 1236.36 meters per second, then our degree of 23, then our ratio specific of heat. That equivalents to 1.66. Then we get the gas constant of R that equivalents to 2077.67. And if you're asking where do I get the value for the ratio specific of heats and the gas constant, here is the relevant properties of gases which shows us the types of gas with each indicated ratio specific of heats and gas constant. These are the formulas that we will be using for solving our problem. We, we will be computing for the C1, C2, and C3. Then we will proceed to D. To get Rm, we are putting the equations 1236.36 over square root of 1.666 times 2077.67 times our temperature 288 plus negative 0 0.00651 times our height equivalent to 5881.9 meters then we get our answer 1.32 then we rounded off to 1.33. Then we proceed to our C1. The formula for C1 is 2 over the square root of M1 squared minus 1. Then we put in our values over 2 over square root of our M 1.33 squared minus 1. Then we get the answer 2.282. After getting the C1, we proceed to C2. The formula for C2 is the ratio specific of heats times m raised to 4 plus m, m squared minus 2 raised to 2 over 2 minus our m squared minus 1 squared. Then we put in our values of 1.666, our ratio of specific. Then we put our M, 1.33 raised to 4 plus 1.33 squared minus 2 squared over 2. Then we put in our value for M, 1.33 squared minus 1 squared. Then we get our answer for... 4.460 and that is our C3 to get our C3 we have the formula of 1 over m squared minus 1 raised to 3.5 parenthesis open of our, our spec ratio plus 1 over 6 times rm raised to 8 plus 2 aspect ratio squared minus 7 and put in our value of aspect ratio minus 5 over 6 times our m 
raised to 6 plus 5 5 our aspect ratio plus 1 over 3 times the our m raised to 4 minus 2 times m squared plus 4 over 3 after getting to C1, C2, and C3, we proceed to our D. Then our formula for our D is our aspect ratio plus 1 times M raised to 4 over 12 M squared minus 1 raised to 3.5. Then open parenthesis 5 minus 3 as times aspect ratio over 4 times our M raised to 4 plus aspect ratio minus 3 times m, m squared plus 2 close parenthesis then putting our values of 1.66 plus 1 times 1.33 raised to 4 over 12 1.33 squared minus 1 raised to 3.5 then open parenthesis 5 minus 3 then put our value of aspect ratio 1.66 over 4 times 1.33 raised to 4 plus 1.66 minus 3 times 1.33 squared plus 2 close parenthesis then we get our answer of negative 0.624 then here we are on our final part of our solution delta p over q then put l because it is for lower surface our formula is the c1 times the degree plus c2 times degree squared plus c3 minus d times degree cube then we put in the values of our C1, 2.282 times 23, our given degree times pi over 180, plus our C2, 4.460 times our degree, 23 times pi over 180 squared, plus our C3, 14.591 minus our D, that equals to negative 0.624. Then we put our degree times degree times pi over 180 cube. Then we get our answer for the lower surface using high order approximation of 2.618.